what is going on everyone and welcome back to another water hopping episode boy this is probably the number one most requested video on my channel and it is so so long overdue but i figured what better day to do my most requested video than the fourth of july so happy america day people this video is not going to come out on the fourth this video is probably going to come out like a week later but uh yeah 5 30 a.m. on the 4th of July and uh, just got the kayak completely set up for you guys and guess what not even gonna fish off of it today that is because today is the full kayak tour guys yes that is right I've been talking about it coming for a little while and uh, today's the day woke up at like 3 15 this morning because I couldn't sleep not because I had to wake up to do this this early happened to work out that way we're gonna try and give you guys a great tour show you guys all the cool little things and modifications I've made to this kayak over the years this is now my fifth year using this kayak I did the full kayak tour about almost three years now to this day that video now by the way is over 70,000 views and over 1100 likes so holy crap thank you so much guys that video has done absolutely amazing but since that time I've made a ton a ton of modifications and further things that I've done to this sit-in kayak that honestly make me think it might be the number one sit-in fishing kayak like DIY version out there and if it's not you know what I'm fine with that too because honestly this DIY thing and creating these creating these customized like this thing wasn't meant to be this you know creating things like this I think is just so so cool and that's one thing I love about the kayak fishing community one quick message I want to get out before we get into this tour right here I mentioned it in my other video but something that's really important to me is not picking on other people basically for what they paddle or pedal or motor whatever basically I just want to say I run a cheap kayak okay I've made a lot of modifications to it now that make it worth more than the original $200 that I did my first kayak tour but it's still the same kayak it's still a super old I mean I got a repainted spot on there I mean it's old you know it's rugged but uh, this kayak has definitely served me for everything I've needed it to do in these last five years that I've been running it and I just wanted to share that with you guys so don't hate on the guys who run these cheaper little kayaks or anything like that just uh, yeah let's get into this tour guys I know you got that's what you guys want to see so let's get into it guys hope you guys enjoy guys so we're gonna start diving into this tour now it feels nostalgic in a way because actually only like 100 yards that way is where we did this exact tour about two years ago and so much has changed and since then it's it's mind-blowing to me but one thing that hasn't changed is uh old yeller we're still using her so uh i'm wearing the chest mount here we're going to be swapping back and forth between the camera on the tripod and the gopro on the chest mount my previous kayak tour a lot of people mentioned how it was all shaky. So we've improved on that since then. This video is like three years old. Or that video is like three years old at this point. So we've improved on the shaking. We're going to try and make this video a little cleaner, a little better for you guys. And uh, I'm going to try and take you guys through all of this in less than 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Think we can do it? All right. I think the best way to do this is to start from the back to the front. I think that's the simplest way to do this. And um, I think it's going to be the most effective. So with that being said, let's get into it, guys. All right, so starting at the back right here, you have a new addition this year, and I have a couple videos explaining some of these different DIY modifications I've made to the kayak, so I'm not gonna go into too much details on these builds or modifications in this video. If you guys are curious, just check the description. You guys might find some of these videos in the description. If you don't find them there, just drop some comments below and I'll either plug them in or create a new video if I haven't made a video talking about whatever you guys wanna see. Right here is my Endura C2. This is a 40 pound thrust trolling motor for the trolling motor. I don't have it actually plugged in right now. Well, I have it plugged in, but I didn't bring the battery with me. Uh, it's a 60 pound battery or 55 pound battery and I wasn't just going to lug it over here to give you guys a tour. But anyways, the battery cable runs from here to the front of the kayak where the battery sits. This right here is my extended handle I made out of PVC. Basically, you just put it right here. 
just like that. And that's how that works, and that's how I do my steering when I'm on the kayak. Like I said though, we're not using that right now, so I just have it sitting right here. Onto the mount itself. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail on this. I have a whole video dedicated to just this mount right here. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, just click the link below. But this mount has been absolutely perfect for me so far. Then we go into the DIY camera pole here that I have. This is actually a modified cam uh, painter's pole, believe it or not. And I used a bow mount. So when I'm not hunting, I use my bow mount for my GoPro, put it on this camera pole. I also have it zip tied on here in case this ever fails, you know, loosens up for one reason or another. Camera's not going in the water, getting a drink. On the camera, I have this refuel external GoPro case. And basically this allows me with a 128 gig SD card to hit this button and let it go all day. You just turn on that right there and uh, it's got full charge right now. So that would let me record up to eight hours and I wouldn't even have to touch this camera. Same thing with the, SD, with the SD card. It's big enough that I can just let this camera roll all day when I'm out on the kayak and I don't have to think about it. Right here we have my transducer, obviously, and this is another DIY mod. Basically how this works, it's not a permanently attached thing because sometimes I don't bring it with me. But I have siliconed in right here some PVC and obviously it reduces down to one inch and then comes out through the arm right here. This is all schedule 40, one inch PVC. And I just slip it in like that, turn it down and then you know, hit the right angle so it's running in line with the boat. That's my Garmin uh, transducer right there. I'm running a Garmin five inch fish finder, but we'll get to that when we get to the front. Now this is one of the uh, most asked for things on my channel. This is um, my outriggers. Okay, so I have a whole video dedicated to talking about these outriggers right here. It's actually got over 8,000 views now, so very thankful for that guys super appreciative for that it's got like I don't know 140 likes so if you guys are interested in checking out the outrigger video they work amazing I've had them three years now and uh, have had literally zero issues since the day I built them moving on right here I added on either side of the kayak we have these flush mount rod holders all right so you guys are probably eyeballing this crate I did bring my PFD with me right here this is an auto inflate PFD I actually had gifted to me when I was still going to uh, Southern Illinois Carbondale from a good fishing buddy of mine. Still thankful for that and I wear it all the time. Uh, you guys should too, by the way. A little disclaimer real quick for you guys. Wear your PFDs. If you guys are out there, kayak fishermen or boaters alike, just wear your PFDs. All right, moving into the crate. I, once again, I keep saying this, but I've got a whole video dedicated to this crate. So I'm gonna link that below. I've made a ton of modifications to this crate um, since the last two years ago. I actually rebuilt the entire crate and revamped it. I've got six PVC rod holders in the back, cup holder right there on the side, and then these two 45 degree rod holders right here. I either use these when I'm cat fishing or just when I want to stow a rod real quick. You know, a situation is like I might be fishing and I just drop the rod in right there so I can re rig whatever I'm doing here. Or slide it into this rod holder. This is like my fishing rod holder, the one that I use when I'm on the water. More on the crate, we got some bungees here. They do bungee style things. Random, random plastic. See, this is, I didn't clean this up for you guys, I apologize. The crate itself is actually held on with these little washers and wing nuts. I have threaded rods running up through the kayak. There's two in the front and then uh, one in the back that you guys can't see. A milk crate is a really simple, easy thing that you can do to your kayak that can give you a ton of storage if you're someone that doesn't have storage, like me. I don't have any storage built into this kayak, so I need to uh, improvise, and that's what this milk crate is, and it holds everything I could ever dream of needing, and whatever extras I have, I just slide into these side pockets here. Just made all these modifications over this last winter. I did put in an actual folding seat, I took it out though because it put me too far forward and I was just getting a little crunched with my legs. So I took it out, just bought a better seat pad. Basically this is like a memory foam deal. And uh, that acts as my pad on the seat. And then the crate itself acts as my backrest. And it's actually pretty much a perfect scenario right there. Right here we have paddle clips. Super simple, super straightforward. This right here is how I raise and lower the trolling motor. I just pull on this right here and it 
pulls the motor up. I don't have it all set up right now and I'm not gonna do that right now, but that's how that works. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, so on this side, I have not done a video on this, but I will. Um, this is my DIY anchor trolley. It's not an original idea by me. I actually got it off another YouTuber that I can't think of their name. Uh, but it works perfectly. Basically, the premise behind an anchor trolley is you run your anchor line down through it into the water, and then you adjust your positioning of your boat by bringing the anchor trolley forward or all the way back. It was pretty thirsty. Um, this actually just failed like five minutes ago, but this right here was held up here and it holds my wires up so that when, you know, they run from the back of the kayak to the front, they're supposed to sit like this, flush and out of the way. But like I said, about five minutes ago, that just failed. So we're going to have to fix that. But what are you going to do, guys, right? We always got problems. All right, we're getting close. We're getting towards the finish line here. Right here, we have my little adjustable, I guess you could say, this is actually a, meant for a boat but we improvised and we used a little PVC T right here. And then that's how I attach the rod holder. So I just spin this out like that and it comes off the kayak every time I'm done fishing. When I'm setting up the kayak, I just thread it in just like that. The way it works, just grab your quick fishing pole like this and then flip that over. So it's fully adjustable when I'm on the water, which is really nice when I'm out there fishing and all that. I just, you know, drop the rod in here when I'm doing some paddling or whatever, and uh, it's hands-free. Next to that, we have our 5-inch fish finder. This is also a new thing to this year. I have not done any videos talking about it specifically, but you guys have seen me using it in some of my later videos. Um, that's a Garmin 5CV, uh, 5-inch uh, display. Uh, we only have down scan and uh, GPS, no, no side scan here. Right here is the GoPro perspective that you guys see. It's actually on my chest right now, but this GoPro normally sits right here facing me, so that's why you always see one perspective from the back facing forward and one perspective from the front facing back. A couple more little things I just wanna show you. We got our paddle leash right here and this carabiner hook. Uh, this is where I clip my keys and little extras and stuff like that into. This bag right here carries all my GoPro batteries and my licenses and things like that. It's also a waterproof little bag if I ever want to put my phone in there. Uh, what else? Still use a simple anchor. I'm not one to buy expensive anchors. I don't think you need them. I just use a little plate weight, pretty much. It's like three pounds, gets the job done. Oh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost done. And uh, right here, obviously, I have my bump board. I'm a kayak fisherman, so when you're doing your tournaments and all that, you need to measure the length of your fish. It doesn't go by weight. So I always keep this with me if I'm ever doing any online tournaments or things like that. And pretty much that's how I get that done. Last but not least, we're all the way at the front, guys. This is like a barn door handle I put on. The crappy handle that came with the kayak has actually broken off. I replaced it with belt, uh, leather belt last time. That worked for about a year and then it failed. So now we went heavy duty barn door handle. <sighs> Man. I love that kayak. All right, guys, that is gonna bring a close to today's video. I sincerely, sincerely hope you guys enjoyed that tour. It's been a long time coming. Uh, my previous tour that I did is now over 70,000 views. So I just wanna say thank you very much for that support. And uh, I'm really excited to see, you know, how well this kayak tour is gonna do. I've made a lot of modifications since uh, the last tour I did two years ago. But the premise is still the same. I still have the same message for you guys. I just wanna say, don't pick on the little guy. I'm one of the guys that uses a cheap sit-in kayak I chose to modify to my liking instead of going out and just buying a fishing kayak that was already pre-set up with all the extras and goodies and things like that. Still might do that one day. Not against that by any means, but I definitely have a certain special attachment to this kayak. I've had it now five years and it's just been absolutely wonderful for me. Ole Yeller. I'll probably keep her for a couple more years. I'll probably never sell this kayak, actually, uh, even if I get some more move on to boating or things like that. Who knows what is on the horizon, but just want to say, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Whether you are someone that's on a big, expensive kayak or a cheap kayak, or even you have just the plain old $100 Sun Dolphin at Walmart with nothing on it and you only bring an ugly stick and you go fishing for worms, 
we're all out there enjoying the same thing guys we're all out there just to be in the outdoors and then just enjoy fishing and the experience itself so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed the video hit that subscribe button for me and uh, drop some comments below about what you guys thought about this video I'm gonna pack this kayak up now because I wasn't even planning on fishing today just wanted to do this video for you guys and uh, now I'm gonna go do some shore fishing so hit that subscribe button hit that like button and as always keep water hopping and I'll see you soon